Okay, as you can see, I fitted the new dual activator. I've got some pictures on the blog, and I've got all the uh, Thingiverse uh, links and uh, um, who designed it and everything, uh, which I'll put up. Um, just to show you, I've got some with some uh, close-up shots on the blog if you want to have a look at it. I haven't tried uh, this out yet. Um, I've just plugged it into my little tester. I'm waiting for some bearings to arrive. So at the moment, these are just uh, two inside bits of some um, uh, these, these inner bits out, which I've just cut out of a couple of spare uh, um, activator rig, um, whatever they're called, the bits that go on the top of the servos. I've just cut the inner bits and stuck them together. Just to, I didn't have any, anything that was round. But I, do, I have ordered some bearings off uh, eBay, but I probably won't get them until the new year. So, uh, which which would slightly, which would probably be slightly big, bigger. So they'll probably push the jaw slightly down, uh, which I don't think is going to be a problem. Um, but I could always, if that is, I suppose, rather than move that, which I can't really move that that uh, bolt there, um, I could shave off um, the the lower bit there, so the jaw didn't move so far down. But basically, um, it's a it's a um, an alternative to Gal's original design, which. Uh, it was very tricky to build actually because you had to sort of line it all up and it was and and it it, it was just hard to build whereas this, it, this is basically using the same parts and there's just a spring as you can see in there so the spring is just uh putting the jaw shut and this is just turning and moving this uh, activator this arm back and forward so it's pushing it pushing it down so I've just powered it up so uh, I've got to be careful because this is a bit abrupt so it'll it'll, it'll throw it off a little bit but um, you can see turn it around a bit I'll connect this to the easy bit and actually get it talking in a minute, but you can just see that moving up and down there. So now this this um, uses pretty much the same parts as the original Gale design. Um, the design is by Holly One, which is on Thingiverse. His design um, actually works slightly different. It uses a different head uh, head um, um, parts in here. Um, which I started trying out and it also had a shorter activator so the server was a bit further ahead but this is a derivative uh, or a remix rather um, which I'll put the re remix info on the uh, on the on the um, in video in a minute which is basically just got a longer arm I think and this is slightly different so you can keep the server in the original place which makes a lot more sense um, and you can just see it just you can see it it just screws on like that so it's 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 all pretty much using the same parts. The only new bit is uh, is this arm and this bit and a spring, and it seems to be really really good idea. As you can see, I've I've replaced the um, oops, <laughs> bit's falling off. I've replaced the speaker uh, section in there because that had snapped off when the the whole head fell forward. Okay, it's a quick update. Um, the bearings for the uh, the new jaw arrived uh, this morning, which is really quick, which is really good. I only ordered the day before Christmas. Uh, just little bearings. These sizes are, uh, I've got the size written on the blog. They're 14 mil by 11 by five, I think. But all the details are on the blog, including the, the Thingiverse uh, links to um, Holly One and this, this particular bar, which is a derivative of, of uh, Holly One. So, uh, um, and I'll put it on the, uh, I'll put it on the link on the on the video as well, uh, so it's all available. Um, anyway, so I put that on. Um, I use the uh, you need a bit of Holly One uh, parts, which is the little there's a little cap that screws in there to fill up that gap to hold it on the end. Um, there's 
as you can see so it does actually make a difference uh, it is slightly bigger so it's pushing the jaw down very slightly more but only well not really actually uh, it, it, so it does roll slightly more smoothly than before um, the, the previously I was just using these plastic uh, I just made some plastic runners I will show you it working <laughs> I've slightly adjusted the maximum so the timing's not too bad So as I say, I've slightly adjust, adjusted the maximum, so it's actually pushing the jaw down a bit more uh, on on the throw. So if I turn that around, and I'll do that same. Time is not quite right, but that's that's more. I will read you some Shakespeare now, as I have been learning it whilst you were doing other things and not finishing my hand servo connections as you promised. Here goes. It so misses it there. Doesn't stop. I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. Stops there, fine. He warned me on his back a thousand times, and now, how absurd in my imagination it is. That's stops there, so that's good. So far. What do you think? And it stops at the end. So the timing, uh, the synchronization is not too bad. But I think that's that's really you've just you've just got to work out that um, on on your own with your own model. Um, within Easy B, uh, let me show you there. I've just set these settings. So the constant delay, the vowel, and the period, and the start. These settings were suggested um, on one of the forums, and they, and they certainly are near. For this, they were, were suggested for an in move, um, so I think uh, playing around with those, you can probably make it very, very accurate. Um, also, the easy before and suggesting to, um, if I show you the file itself, there we go. Um, obviously, use, within Easy B, you go, you've got to use the Easy B weight rather than just say easy B. The wait will mean it's not going to do another command until it's finished saying that. So otherwise, it would just, if you didn't put the wait, that command in there, it would just run through the whole thing and it would just be gobbledygook. Um, I've also put some sleeps in there just to slow it down a little bit um, because they were saying keep the sentences short. I mean, you can have long sentences, but um, do them separately. So. Uh, it will probably be a, an idea for me to cut this first sentence right down because it's, as you can see, it's quite long. Um, whereas if I'd made that sentence into two sections, it will probably stay in sync a bit more. So I put a couple of sleeps in there just to slow it down a little bit. But um, I will read you some Shakespeare now, as I have been learning it whilst you were doing other things and not finishing my hand servo connections as you promised. Here goes. And as you say, it then goes into the next. It's got that sleep in there. I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. And a, and a stops there, so that, that works. And now, how absurd in my imagination it is. That's all I have learned so far. What do you think? I don't think it's too bad, actually. Um, certainly works a lot better than the, the, the previous uh, way, which was never that easy to get to, to work and also actually quite difficult to install because you have the little um, um, screw screw going up and down it was quite difficult to, to, to screw it onto the bottom of the servo and get it in, in place and get it to line up at you know the minimum and maximums and it was very fiddly whereas this all I've got to do is adjust um, in in this software I've got to adjust the minimum and maximum settings. So minimum, I mean, it will be different on every server. It depends where you've set your servo. But minimum 55 is sort of sitting there. It's probably sitting a little bit too far in, actually, there. If I made that 60. So it can be the right way. Yeah. You probably saw that move. It's, it's set it's now sitting right inside there um, just save that 
um, 80, sorry, just get back to that. 80 would be the maximum throw there. You can, you can make it even more if you want. So I can have it there. But 80 is about really where you want to keep it. Um, well, in, within this. So in other words, that would be fully open and fully closed. So you can mess around with all those settings, but this is, I think it's really good. So I'm very pleased with all of that. Um, just, uh, what else have we done? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, see that works quite nicely actually, because that's quite a short sentence. As you can see, I've left the speaker. I, the, the, I'm just using external speakers, but I've, I've I've left the speaker inside here in the end, and I've put all the electronics back in here. Only thing I had to do was just mod where I put that uh, potentiometer because it was hitting the bar, so I've turned that around. Still a little bit messy, but I've decided to leave the cables inside. Um, with the new system, it is actually quite easy now to. Uh, now I've done it a few times. It's it's getting easier to to place this back on the uh, the in move. Um, still, I should really look at the eyes. They were playing up at some point just to get them to work properly again. So I might just leave the head off and, and mess around with it for the next few days. Um, I need to also work out. Uh, I've changed the Wi-Fi in in the house, um, and so I've actually just put a Wi-Fi repeater in back in the workshop. So I've just got to mess around with the Wi-Fi connections to the Easy because it's dropping out of it. Sometimes it locks onto the house and it doesn't get the full signal. Um, so a few other things I've just got to mess around with. Um, I'll show you what's on the printer. That is a uh, that is a stormtrooper hat helmet, <laughs> believe it or not, um, and uh, which I couldn't resist uh, printing. Uh, but I'll do a, a thing on that another time. I've also got a Cyberman helmet I've just printed. I haven't put together um, all by the same. Um, thingy there site uh, which again I'll, I'll show later on but uh, so we, we're Star Warsy and in movie going on at the moment uh, and I've got uh, R2-T2 <laughs> Christmas presents mug which I think is great uh, so there you go for the minute